Hi everyone, just come back from the game. What was last night? Um, very disappointing. It's getting worse every game under Pellegrini. Anyone who's been listening to my views recently on the various channels out there, including um, Ham's chat, I wanted Pellegrini gone five, six, seven games ago. It's still the same. Same formation. Um, same way we play. Players lack motivation. Some people driving up to the game thought we might play two up front, but no, Mr. Stubborn has carried on in the same way. Games are running out. Played a very poor Arsenal team. I thought we played a Tottenham team that was low in confidence three, four games ago. Uh, thought we played a Newcastle team that struggles to score again. Confidence not that high. All these games have gone and we've lost to all of them, including conceding sort of three goals at home to all these games. Three three goals conceded at home is the norm now under Mr. Pellegrini. Uh, it's a mess. It's, it's a mess. Uh, we look at today's performance and Antonio was probably one of the best players. He was trying. Had Anderson. Anderson was trying to be close to him, but Anderson was very poor again. Wasn't tracking enough, wasn't trying to work in partnership with the full backs Creswell done well Martin was trying to encourage the team as much as possible, Rice was trying to do his best even though we mustn't forget how young he is and you're looking at the squad you're looking at the bench, you're looking at what the hell Pellegrini has achieved in free transfer windows, it's a load of crap you got Dupe, who's, who's cost a lot of money, he's not even in the team you got Haller he wasn't in the team. You got Jetty, wasn't in the team. You got Anderson in the team, might as well not be. Dean Garner, probably our best player at the moment across the leagues. He's on loan. Hugel was doing all right. He's not in our team. And then you got the base, so nothing's changed. Antonio, Snodgrass, Creswell, Noble, Martin. These people, the ones. The kind of the British core content of the ones who are trying to sort of do as much as they can, but the only humans are low on confidence. The manager needs to put their arm around them, get the player out of them, like Anderson. It's not happening, and we're in shambles. Tomorrow morning, I'm hoping um, we get some good news, and he's finally gone. I'm not going to sit on, sit in the middle and say, oh, "But who are we going to get in?" I don't care. I want him out. Otherwise, if we go down. Or get into well we are in a relegation battle anyway and I'm not one of those oh we're too good to go down I've seen many better teams in this go down you know under sort of Avram Grant Glenn Roder those teams are much better than this crap team we've got the board really needs to think seriously about what is it trying to achieve they're the ones at the end are responsible for choosing the manager and they've done a bad job they really need to get this choice absolutely right and also think about how they're going to let them manage um, the transfer market, make sure he picks his own players and make sure they understand at the interview stage what the manager's trying to achieve, not only what has he achieved in the past, what what does he think he will bring to West Ham? Pellegrini's totally not improved anything. I feel sorry for people like Sam and David Moyes, though people used to have a go out. Under them, at least, we knew what way we were playing, and the players played that way, and we were fairly solid. But if finishing 10th, 11th, 12th weren't sexy enough for those people, then this is the other flip side of it. Relegation battle. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to come, and it's not my job. I mean, Eddie Howe's stock has fallen recently. Sean Dyke just kind of up and down. Benitez is getting towards the latter end of his career, a bit like Pellegrini Part 2. One or two other sort of Ajax managers and ex-Bayern Munich managers, will they really want to come to this club? We're a good club, 60,000 fans, freezing our nuts off. Just come home, what, half an hour ago, so you can tell how late, how late that was. 
the board need to do the homework, get the right person in, do a really thorough interview, get a good strong backroom staff for him and let's crack on again but let's get some good news, we deserve it. Today was a write off, it's the same, absolute crap. And we've lost two teams that are not that great themselves and it just shows how poor we are. Okay we might have had possession quite high in the first half an hour but you really got to make possession count and get in the end and that's the, that's where the difference is between buying really good class players with good confidence it's that split second that quick pass instead of holding on to it releasing it that accurate assist that really good finish is what separates a lot of the teams in this division because apart from the top three or four the rest of us there's not much between them so that's we really need to spend money wisely going forward get this new person in so in the window you can make a difference it's hard to forget the past but let's give the board one more chance we're kind of on our feet the fans you should see in all the fan cans how many people were just stood there in freezing cold wanted to hear each other's views and provide views so come on you irons we're, we're virtually on the floor can't get any worse get that guy out get anyone in and so we can at least look forward to something different more motivational and have a reasonably nice Christmas. So come on you irons, we need the change now.